What's up, everybody? It's Coach Bronson here, and I'm going to give you four tips today on how to go through the process of finding your why. Get that motivation that you've been looking for and dig deep into the root cause of the, the things that you want in your life that will keep you going when things get hard, when you are faced with challenges and temptations. The process of finding your why is something that I work with all of my clients on. It is one of the first things that we do is talk about why do they want to make a change? What are the things that they're looking to remove from their life? What are the things they want to add? And it often is a struggle because the why takes time. It's not a magic pill. Understanding what your motivation is doesn't mean everything automatically becomes easy. It just gives you a reason for getting through the things that are hard when those times come. It is not an intellectual exercise. It is an emotional exercise. And many, many, many people are practiced and have spent years at avoiding dealing with emotional things. And then the really key piece of it is it gets harder. The closer you get to the root cause of why you want to make a change in your life will get harder and more challenging to dig through the closer you get to it. So understanding the first aspect of finding your why is giving it time. I work with a lot of people who think it's a an exercise. We do what's called the seven levels of why. We give you a sheet of paper and, and ask you to ask yourself the question, why do I want to make this change? Why do I want to lose 50 pounds? I want to lose 50 pounds because of X. Okay, why do you want X? Well, I want X because of this. Okay, why is that important to you? And keep digging and digging and digging. And that process takes time. So you can't sit down in 15 minutes and finish this thing. It's going to take days, weeks. Some people, it takes months. Some people, it takes years to really dig into the real reason they want to see change in their life. The one thing that is emotional, not intellectual. We'll talk about that in a second. So you have to be patient. The, the more you try to push, the harder it's going to be, the more frustrated you're going to get. And the less likely you are to stick with the process of being with yourself, listening to yourself, asking yourself hard questions sometimes, and then digging, digging, digging into that real root motivation. So I want you to understand that if you're not patient, it's going to make it more frustrating for you. It does not happen overnight. You've spent years avoiding some of these questions and you have mental defenses in place to keep you from answering them. Just be aware things will pop in your head when you're not even thinking about it. Okay. And you're like, oh man, that's something I hadn't thought about. I wonder how that plays into this whole thing. Second thing to understand about finding your why is that it is not a magic pill. It is just part of the process. We hear the term, if you find your why, you'll have the motivation to do what you need to do. So we think, oh, if I find my why, that's all I need to do. And then all my ans answers are going to be, uh, questions are going to be answered. All my problems will go away if I find my why. That is not the case. That is absolutely not the case. Finding your why is an important, important piece of the puzzle because when things get hard, your why is what gets you through them. Without the why, when things get hard, you quit. Finding your why doesn't remove the challenges. It helps you get through the challenges. How you can respond to the challenge may be different with you have your why, but that doesn't mean the challenge goes away. I hope that makes sense. The third thing to understand about finding your why go through this process is that you cannot think your way to the answer. This is not a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop where you can lick it five times, take a big bite, and then it's done. You have to sit with it. Like I said before, that's where the first part comes into play. To work through the defenses that you've built up over the years, be vulnerable, listen and think. Feel the emotion that are in play when you start digging deeper and deeper and deeper. Finding your why has to be based in the emotions that you feel when the topics come up about why you want to make a change in your life. If it is not emotional, it will not work. If you are fighting against the emotion of finding your why, that is a trigger for you to understand there's something here I need to learn more about myself. I need to understand why I'm having this resistance and that will help you get through to the next level. It has to be emotional. 
because of the challenges that you face have emotional triggers attached to them and habit loops and all the things that you're doing are based on emotions or avoiding emotions. Okay. Many, many, many of the habits you have today built in your life are emotional defenses to help you avoid dealing with the emotions that you have to face in order to move forward and reach your goals. So just you doing the why exercise of trying to get to that root cause motivation is going to help you tear down the emotional uh, baggage that you have, the emotional walls that you have put up to help you avoid those emotions. The reason you are where you are with the process and why it's so hard is because you've been doing what's easy to avoid the emotions. If you want to reverse that cycle, you have to suck it up, face the emotions and get through it. You just need to be patient and let your, let your brain, let your mind work through the things um, and then be willing to face them when they come up. It's natural to feel the resistance. It's natural to um, have those negative feelings uh, as you go through this. And I might do another video that talks a little bit more about why the why is super important and how having an emotional connection to your motivation helps you become more free helps you improve your quality of life, helps you make better choices, helps you build better habit loops and all those types of things. That might be another video coming down the road, all right? Four things to remember about your why. It's gonna take time. It's not a magic build. The challenges still come. Your why will help you get through them. It is not a brain exercise. You have to feel the process. If you don't feel the process, it's not going to work. And then lastly, the closer you get to it, the harder it's gonna be. But that doesn't mean you can't do it. And when you do, your life is going to change forever.